Um, Dr. Walzel, what uh, motivated the um, creation of this new European Handball Manager course? Yeah, what we saw in the, over the last year is that uh, the economic aspects becoming more powerful, more interesting and even uh, more important uh, for the handball management. And we already know that the sporting success and the economic success are closely linked with each other and depend on each other. And we have uh, a further education program for the handball coaches, but we have nothing comparable for, for the handball managers. And for sustainable development, we're saying we also need something uh, for the handball managers. For that reason, we create uh, this program in cooperation with the European Handball Federation. Can you give some details how this cooperation between uh, the German Sports University uh, in Cologne, where you're from, and the EHF is going to work? Um, it's, it's working fantastic, honestly. Um, we just worked on this program uh, a couple of months. Uh, and what we achieved so far, it's really uh, fantastic. And I hope we can continue on this level. You mentioned the, the economic aspects. Can you um, give us some detail what areas this course is going to cover? Yeah, we analyzed uh, what are the uh, skills and the knowledge the handball managers must have uh, for a successful running of a handball club. And on the one hand, the knowledge, these are economic uh, knowledge, uh, law, even um, management, marketing, governance issues. But we also thought, okay, there must be certain skills uh, like uh, communication skills are also important for that reason. We follow an uh, interdisciplinary approach, so we say we include psychology, economics, management issues in this program. What are the um, primary target groups of this course? We try to attract uh, senior and junior managers, so it's not only that we try to attract uh, young professionals and we want to exclude the semi-professionals or the high professionals. It's a platform for both and I think the exchange between the juniors and the senior managers is also very important for that reason. We also want to create a platform of an exchange for both. Um, can you already say something about the interest that you've reached so far and maybe one or two names, high profile names that have already um, expressed their interest? Uh, yeah, we were just we announced uh, the cooperation a couple of weeks ago and we received a lot of emails with interest want to uh, ask for more details, uh, etc. And we were very surprised about that at this early stage. And we start the promotion from today on. So, and I'm pretty sure there will be more interest in the upcoming weeks. Any names maybe that you can mention? I've heard of uh, former world champions expressing their interest. Uh, yes, they do, but I'm not sure if they really want to do it for themselves or if they might be uh, might be interesting for some of the colleagues um, for for example we also talked to like the testimony Stefan Albrechtson who is uh, at the front cover of the of our folder but also Bruno Martini uh, etc so I think these people are also attracted by this one when does the first course start we start this year, so the application deadline is uh, end of April and we want to start uh, from the 1st of July officially. But it's divided in a, a self-study phase and attendance phase and the first attendance phase will be at the first week of October this year. And um, if I'm now interested and if I want to um, have more information, where do I go? Uh, we. As I said, we just started promoting the program today and we have uh, launched a website on the German Sport University um, and we also provide all the clubs and federations with folders uh, and where all the information are available, the key facts and then more information on the website. Thank you very much.